All right, we have finally gotten all of that corn harvest done here next to the grain elevator, which is over there. All I need to do is get this equipment out of the field, and we will be planting a new crop in here, probably canola this time. All right, back at the main farm, and we've got our planting equipment purchased. We've got our Challenger 1050, which should be big enough to pull this big horse cultivator seeder. And on this one, I've got uh, the Amazon fertilizer spreader on the front. See if we can do all three jobs at once. It may not work out, but uh, we'll see. Okay, everything is full fertilizer seed all that we're in the cab and headed down to our newly harvested cornfield say we should be on canola yep canola we're ready to go seems like this tractor is going to uh, tow that big horse behind us pretty well Coming up on the road. And we'll go in and get set up. Alright, we're here at the field. You may notice that the fertilizer spreader is no longer on the front of the tractor. Um, my last recording session, I forgot to save the game. And the fertilizer spreader was something purchased just before the recording session and that was a little problem so it disappeared but uh, I did realize one issue with using the fertilizer spreader on the front is that uh, Our hired worker is following the track of the fertilizer spreader and not the cedar. So we had uh, some gaps starting in there, about uh, oh, five, six feet. Not sure that was going to work anyway, but it was worth trying. Tractors cultivating and seeding at 15 miles per hour, so uh, that's good. I think we're just gonna have to purchase a cedar, not a cedar, a uh, fertilizer spreader or sprayer to go with what we're doing here. So, yes, we'll have to make two passes, but uh, shouldn't be too terrible. We're still cutting out separate uh, cultivating and seeding steps on this field. Yeah, I did also lose the progress I made on uh, moving all this equipment back to the farm, too. And since this is quite a large machine, I am... Uh, going to put some headlands in here, at least on this side of the map, so the tractor doesn't hit those uh, telephone poles when it turns around. I think just one's going to be plenty. Of course, the other side's uh, just a big grass verge. Seems like the Challenger's doing a pretty good job of uh, hauling this horse cedar cultivator around. We'll get to the end of our headlands and get our helper started here, since this is a pretty big field.
Well, not sure we would have made that turn very well. I don't think these telephone poles have collision on them. No, they don't. sure we're lined up and get started here. Lower the machine. Okay, we'll come and check on him once in a while. Okay, just moving the New Holland harvester out of the field. We've got the Peterbilt truck following us. We're going to take that last load of corn and put it in our silo storage back at the farm. Of course, I'm using the follow me mod to uh, let the truck follow us back to the road. And there's the road. Try to keep to the right side here. Make sure our truck followed us around the corner. Yep. Well, we'll start collecting up the rest of this equipment. Okay, bring one of the Peterbilts in to the farmyard, and we will dump this into the silos, here, which I believe are behind this red barn. Just the second trailer to unload. We will be done with this. I do like this uh, nice paved road around uh, the barns. So we can get our trucks back. We don't have to. back them up over anything. Of course for loading this is where uh, the trailers load up. Alright, something new we bought here. Uh, this is a Dodge Ram supply pickup truck. Whole seed and fertilizer for us. Uh, also got a Brantner trailer that's hauling fertilizer and seed. Uh, that was kind of a mistake. I didn't know I'd have to buy the, uh, the Dodge Ram. So we ended up with two uh, supply uh, vehicles. Wandering out here. Need to resupply the... Challenger and Cedar. I think it was kind of towards this end of the map. The last time we saw it. Oh, there it is over there. We 
will fill things up so our helper can get back to it. It's not driven close enough. That or I need to fold up the uh, machine before it'll fill up again. Oh, there we go. Costs a little bit of money, but uh, it's a pretty good sized machine. Get our worker going again. I don't know if it's the tractor or the sower, but uh, it's going pretty fast, really. Alright, back here at the yard, you can see we've got the combines parked up, getting serviced. Need to be looked at, maybe oil changed, maybe bearings greased, don't know, that would be up for the mechanic to do. We'll drive over here by the silage bunkers here at the main farm. I'm actually using them as a parking space right now. Kind of parking the uh, grain header there, the New Holland. Two trucks are inside here. Should be the header for the gleaner in here. I think the uh, thing we're going to start next is a grain harvest and looks like the fields behind the farm here looks like it's labeled four and six we'll have to get our equipment together and drive on out there all right back at the yard with our pickup truck I'm gonna get turned around here and start getting things organized to uh, take those combines back here and see the fields I'm talking about probably this one and the one just past it I'm going to use the truck to pull uh, the headers out front so it's clear for the combines to hook up to them. It's a little bit tight in here. Okay, had a little uh, press the wrong key moment there. So this looks like the one for the gleaner. Pull that out here. I think the gleaner can back in there. Put the new Holland one right here. A 
Okay. Ooh, we might have to swing in through the uh, the bunkers to get turned around. I've got the longest headers I can find for these combines. So it just takes a little bit of being careful to uh, get driven around without damaging anything. All right, let's go get those combines. Okay, we've got the gleaner. I'm going to have to find some place to put uh, these corn headers. I'm not sure they'll go between the posts and the barn there. Maybe right here by the uh, the sheep field. It's a good wide place. Should be easy to get into. Okay, so the gleaner's header is next to the house. probably be next episode when we really get started on uh, this harvest okay we've got the gleaner no not the gleaner we just talked about the gleaner this is the new hall we'll go drop its uh, corn header off we won't need that for a little while I might well need a yard tractor to move that uh, huge cultivator around yet. Probably do need some kind of yard tractor. Do chores around the farm here. Okay, pretty close. Alright, I think we're about set up for our next harvest.